Luke and I have come over to the Panerai this morning. Um, we're going to be doing an interview uh, with a couple that we met over in Central Plaza a few days ago. And we were going to go for breakfast over at the Good Days, but I said, look, we're meeting at the Panerai. Why don't we have breakfast here? I haven't been here for breakfast for so long. And of course, it's where we used to come and stay when we were visiting on holiday. Up and club. So, um, so we're here at the Panerai. Let me just give you a quick glance of what they've got. Hook is already diving in now. I'm going for Farang menu. Farang menu. Okay. I've got some scrambled egg there. But they've got a really good choice. Um, you can see they've got the usual thing. Well, the, the usual buffet stuff. But they've got a very, very good choice here. This diminished, obviously, when COVID was taking place. And they did away with the buffet for a while. Um, fresh orange juice and cold water. Coffee machines. Tea. And then they've got the Thai food here, the Thai porridge. It's like a, a green Thai green curry, I think that is. They've got a very good selection here, but yeah, they did away with this obviously while COVID was taking place and there was no one here. They closed for a while, but um, now it's fully opened again. The buffet's on and they've got a fantastic selection. Um, Pookie, how much did you say that was? 280. So, okay. Well, it's not bad though, you can eat all you want. They've got a fantastic choice, haven't they? Okay, so we're going to have breakfast now, and we'll probably go out by the pool there to sit with Michael and Elise, and, uh, and, and we'll do the video out there and the interview out there. So, stick with us because you'll be fascinated by her story, I promise you. So, a follow on from um, having our breakfast and saying we're back over here at the Panerai. This is Annelise and her husband Michael. And what it was, we were walking around Central Plaza, weren't we? Yeah. And um, it, it's strange because you know when someone spotted you who recognises you from the channel. It's not like you're famous or anything, but a lot of people watch the channel now. And you, you suddenly get that eye contact and you see someone's watching. And, and sure enough, Michael and Annelise, they watch the, the YouTube channel. And we got talking. Now, within a few minutes, just a few things that Annelise was telling me about herself, where she came from and her background and her tie links. I was fascinated, we were both mm. fascinated by her story. And the other thing is, is because of um, a big part of her story links in with things that I haven't spoke about on the channel before, I will do one day, um, that I was adopted when I was, and, and I found, at birth I was adopted and I found out when I was 33. And it was that and Annelise's story that sort of like eh, triggered something in me and I said I'd love to be able to speak with you and I know that the, um, the subscribers would love to hear your story. So here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to start? So, under the tree. <laughs> yeah, under the tree with blossom falling on us. It's, it's wonderful, isn't it? So Annelise, as I say, your story is fascinating. Could you go right back to the beginning when you were born, where you were born and what happened that led yes. you to here? Okay. I was born here in Udon Thani mm -hmm. for 50 years ago. So, uh, so you Isan girl. I'm a Isan <laughs> girl, yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, my mom is Thai mm -hmm. and my dad is American. Mm -hmm. So at that time, my mom had uh, five children. Mm -hmm. I have three siblings older than me, mm -hmm. and then I came as a fourth child, and then I have a smaller sister. So your father was here from America during the Vietnam War? Yes, uh -huh. he's American. Mm -hmm. He was a soldier here okay. in Vietnam. So I haven't met him at all. No. I don't, I don't, you don't know anything about nothing him? Nothing at all. No name, nothing. Can I just ask something, interrupt there? Yeah. Would you like to know? Would you like to meet him if you could? Yes. You would? I would. I took a DNA test, mm. but I didn't found anything. anything no okay okay sorry to interrupt yeah <laughs> and then uh, i was adopted as a three-year-old mm. child from a, a finnish missionary couple mm. from finland so they, they were, were here they were working here as a missionary so they stayed here for 20 years mm. so uh, three years old i got adopted so we i moved to Löy. it's around 120 kilometers from here Oh, is it? Wang yeah. Sapung mm -hmm. And they had an orphanage there. They mm -hmm. opened an orphanage, started an orphanage that is still running at this time. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's 40 years ago they started it. Mm -hmm. 75, right? 75, mm -hmm. 1975. And now they, they have moved back to Finland, of course, because they are uh -huh. old people, yeah. my dad yeah. and mom. Retired, yeah. But it's Thai people who runs it now. Mm -hmm. It's a Nexus Foundation from Bangkok. 
actually. Mm -hmm. So this this project that your parents, your adoptive parents, set up from nothing. Yes. It's still going and it's helping yes. children to die. Yes. That's wonderful. Uh, so um, my dad and mom had been helping around 300 kids uh -huh. with education and a better life. Uh -huh. Amazing. Mm. Oh, that's great. Yes. So, and, and the name of the orphanage is? Bethany Home in Wangsapung. Wangsapung. Mm, Bethany okay. Home. We'll get some details up. Take a look down the description. Yes. And any details on the, the orphanage, we'll, we'll put down there. Because I know, I know for a fact that a lot of our subscribers will be interested in maybe helping out a little bit. Yeah. Plus Pierre. We mm -hmm. have a friend, Pierre. He was... Um, He's, he was part of the United Nations and went all over the world helping people. He lives down that way as well. Yeah. So I'll be speaking to him about it as well. But no, it's mm. a fascinating story. Yeah, and we are sponsors to a boy there in the mm. Bethany home. Uh -huh. uh, so we are paying monthly to, mm. to his education. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's it's great. It's good to helping other kids. Oh, of course it is, yeah. So from um, moving from here, mm. oh, sorry, you, you were growing up here. Yes. So in my mother tongue is Thai. Yeah. And then I went to Swedish uh -huh. because even if we are from Finland, there are Swedish speaking Finns in Finland. So okay. where we live, it's almost just Swedish, Swedish people. speaking mm. people. Mm. Okay. So then when I was seven years old, mom and dad sent me to a boarding school in Hua Hin. Right. It was a missionary school. Uh, it was a Scandinavian Pentecostal missionary school for <coughs> kids from Norway, Denmark, uh, Sweden, and our family from mm -hmm. Finland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we went there. It was a boarding school. So we mm -hmm. was there for six weeks and then came home for holiday for two weeks and then go back wow. for six wow. weeks and just go back and forth. And that was using public transport? or Yes, it was a bus <laughs> at the time from uh, Wangsapung down to Bangkok. It took uh -huh. about nine hours wow. with nine bus hours. and then to Hua Hin. Uh, uh, three hours more. Uh -huh. So it's from Wangsapung to Wahim, it was around 800 kilometers. Okay. I was away from my mom and dad. Right. Mm -hmm. And now when I call mom and dad, it's the mom, Lisa and dad, who uh -huh. So I don't talk about my bio biological mom. No, uh -huh. no. So you were here, you, you were here in um, Thailand until what age? Until 16 years old. And you had an older sister that you were growing up with. Uh, you, you, you knew from very early on that you were adopted? Yes, I yeah. knew it from the beginning that okay. I was. Because uh, my mom and dad adopted four children from Thailand with the yeah. same background. Mm. Uh, Thai mom and mm. American fathers. Okay. But we are from uh, different places in Thailand, from yeah. Udon, and my younger sister from Ubon, uh -huh. and a brother from Udon, mm -hmm. and one from Rayong. Right. Uh -huh. So it's just, you know, from all over okay. Thailand. So up to what age were you being educated, mainly in, in Thailand? I'm to 16 years old. 16? Mm, yeah, 16. Okay. Then we go, then we move back to Finland for the last time. Mm. So from 1989, mm -hmm. I have been living in Finland. Full time? Yeah. Okay. Went to school there and uh, then uh, teacher schools and now I'm a teacher in Finland. Mm. This is my husband. <laughs> He's a principal. Headmaster at the school. Headmaster. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah. So you also mentioned something about growing up with a friend mm. who you, uh, like, you told a story. Yes, yes, you yes. Told a story. Okay. Uh, because uh, at the orphanage, mm. when mom and dad went to the office, mm -hmm. We, we came along yeah. and played. So you spent with, a lot of time yeah, at the yes, orphanage yes. yourself? And just, just playing around with yeah. the kids uh -huh. and when I could, could speak Thai, yeah. we were playing mm -hmm. and now they are my sisters, you know, yeah. in heart. Uh -huh. And we are very good friends as an adult too. So when we come to Thailand, every year they want to spend the time with us, they call us, when are you coming? Uh -huh. I'm coming to Suvanapum to mm -hmm. meet you uh -huh. or you can come and stay with us yeah. in the house. Uh -huh. So. Now they give back to, to us. Yeah, sure, of course. Who gave them yeah, life. Absolutely. So have, we have very good friends. And one of the friends uh, is a wedding planner uh -huh. in Kochang. Mm -hmm. So we got married there for oh, six years yes. ago in mm. Kochang. She just planned all the weddings, flowers, oh. everything. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. We just came out with the, with the clothes and the ring. Yeah. So <laughs> the other story that I was thinking of was 
you said that you found out that someone was your sister? Yes, I found out. Actually... But you'd uh, already been spending time with her when you were growing up? And no, didn't... no, because I was adopted as a three years old and she was nine years. Mm -hmm. And after that, three years, I haven't met her at all. Right. So it's 47 years ago. Okay. So I don't know. I grew up in Thailand, but still I didn't go back to my birth family. No in Udon, mm -hmm. but last year I tried to apply for Thai citizens, yeah. mm -hmm. but it didn't work because I hadn't so much paper. I just have the old Thai passport yeah. and my adoption papers, uh -huh. but they told me to, I have to search for birth certificate. Yeah, the original because, birth yeah, certificate. From everything has to be in Thai, mm. my Thai name. Mm. Uh, my Thai name when I was a child was Utin Chantavong. Mm -hmm. So Say they that again? Utin Chantavong. Okay, okay. <laughs> so they needed me to, to write it in Thai, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the paper, I just have it in English. Mm. U T H I N. Mm. So I had to go back to Finland and search for it. And then I, I found it. Mm. And uh, I sent it back to, to Thailand to my friend. And uh, they looked at the computer and then they sa said to me, Unless we have found a sister with the same na mother's name and the same Chantavong, the surname. So these people who were looking into it came back with this information yes. that you knew nothing about? I knew nothing about it. I this is fascinating. No, yeah. nothing about it. Uh, and uh, so my friend here in Thailand, yeah went to her house and knocked on her door uh -huh. mm -hmm. and she was a little bit scared. She told me yesterday, I can imagine, yeah. yes, yeah. who is this knocking on my door? Uh -huh. And even if she was a, a girl, uh -huh. she said to me, I have, stand back there, don't come into my house, who are you? What do you want? Why are you here, a stranger? Uh -huh. And she just asked her, is this your name? Mm. Yes. Is mother's name this? Yes. Uh, do you have a, a younger sister who was adopted? Yes, because she was nursing me. Yeah. She was nine years old when I was adopted. So, so for she her, was taking care of you yes, as a baby? Yes, so she said to me now, I was very sad. It was, in, you know... As shocked. a nine-year-old child suddenly yeah. losing a yes. younger sister. Yeah. yeah. So then she started to cry because then she knew, okay, it genuine, yeah. it, this is my sister mm. reaching out yeah. for me. So they called me to Finland, from Thailand to Finland, actually in Christmas Eve, so it was a big, yeah, lovely, yeah. lovely yeah, present, yeah. Christmas uh -huh. present, <laughs> that they found my real sister, my, ma my birth sister. Uh -huh. yeah. So I, I took the phone number and we started chat online mm. and it was amazing. So okay. now I have met her for the first time. You met her just a few days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Oh. Mm. So she lives here in Nongkai. It's mm. 50 kilometers from here, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So we went to the Thai government house to yeah. the place and apply for citizenship yeah. in mm. Thai. So mm. hopefully I will get it this time. So you're applying for citizenship because ultimately when you both retire you're looking at hopefully spending more time here in Thailand? Yes. And you being a Thai citizen, yeah. it will make things a lot easier for you. Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, what that's story? our plan. Yeah. Or what? Yes, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but we, we hope to be here more often. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That would make yeah. sense. Yeah, it really yes, would. Yes. Such a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. You've said how much you love the place and you love the people. Yes. yes and of course you love the weather as opposed yes, to yes. the weather in Finland. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to freeze here. <laughs> Only inside, not outside. <laughs> Only in the air condition. Sometimes it's right. even too... Yeah. Well, you've got the choice. You can go to Central Plaza for yes, a coffee yes. and get free air conditioning. Yes. That's, uh, that's yes. wonderful, it really yeah. is. Well, it's an amazing story. Like I say, as soon as you started telling me about it, it's like I was getting chills because it linked in with some of the things that happened to me when I was a child. And um, I just knew that I wanted to yeah. interview you and I know that everyone's going to love the story. They really will. Yes, I'm very happy. The family's growing like yeah. that. I, had, I still call mom and dad, mom and dad, mm. and I still call my, my adoptive sisters and brothers, my brothers and sisters, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But now I have a new sister. Sure. 
And yeah. going back to the orphanage, yes. how many children are there at any one time? Now there are 35 children. Okay. Um, and it's there. mixed, you say, boys and it's girls? It's mixed, And yes. what age ranges? Uh, from, from, you know, one year, two years old, up to 15, 16. Okay. Yeah. Until so they go to, to other schools. Yeah, until right. they move yeah. out. Secondary and after yeah. secondary they go to, to some other schools. Something that intrigues me, so they're at the orphanage, that's their home, mm -hmm. until a certain age, and then they go on to schools or colleges. Yeah. What, ha what regarding their living circumstances? What happens when they move out and go to another school? They still help them. They still yeah. help them. Yeah. Our, our boy is, is now yeah. in, in some other school. Okay. He's here in Hong Kong. So it's actually not so. Not so. It's only we pay 35 euros a month mm. for him for yeah. his edu education. Mm. So it's the same in dollar, I think, and in Thai baht, it's like 1,300. Yeah. So it's, it's not, not lot, expensive no. at all. No. Not for us, it's small money, but for yeah. them it's a big thing, that's right. right. Yeah. right. No, that's the thing, yeah. that, that, that so, yeah. so every time we come here to Thailand, we go up to the, to the north mm. here and spend time with the children mm. and, and eat with them, play with them. Yeah. And, uh, buy some ice cream, candies. And you take said you them take them, them all the to the hotel swimming pool yes, as well. Yes, they love that. <laughs> they are the asking all there. the time, when are we going swimming? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll do that. So <laughs> tomorrow we actually we go yeah. to, to Wang Sapung. Uh, okay. So, but they have also children, they have 35 children in the Bethany home, mm. but then they are helping other kids too outside who is living with their mom and dad but doesn't afford to go to school mm. so it calls like school ki kids yeah, sure, yeah. so they have 50 50 children they are helping now oh so they're helping those children who are outside yes. the orphanage as well yes it's a really who, good organization a good cause uh, the mom and dad want them to live at home yeah. yes. but they don't afford them to mm. go to school mm. so it's they're just sending the money okay. but those children who, who are at the Bethany home so can't live at home. Well, I said to Poop, we would have loved to have come with you tomorrow yeah. and visit the place, but we've already planned, well, friends of ours planned. He, he's booked a week or a mm. few days away for us. But we're coming back in uh, in July. We'd love to. Home. And in fact, I know that David, who we're going away with tomorrow, is yeah. a lovely guy, mm -hmm. wonderful English guy, married to a Thai mm. lady. Anything like this, he loves to get involved yeah. in, and he would love to come along as well. So maybe nice. we can travel up at the same time. And, um, and we see, we see yeah. if that is on the way, we're going tomorrow. We see, if, you know. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, it might yeah, be. See, I don't even know where we're going. Yeah. He's taking us away. He's paid for this hotel and everything. So. Okay. Um, I'll find out where it is, and if it is anywhere on our route, maybe we could even yeah. pop in when you're there. Yeah, because Wang Sapung is only 20 kilometers from Loi, mm. so you, you can pass Wang Sapung and go to Loi. Mm. Mm -hmm. From here we go to Wang Sapung. Okay. So it's very... We'll, it's, we'll find yeah. out where we're going and um, if it's anywhere yeah. in, that, in that area. If because not, next time we'll arrange yeah. to go, and David would definitely yeah. love to come along as well. Because my daughter is coming from Finland mm -hmm. next, uh, it's next week, and then, then we spend some time in Hua Hin, yeah. and then we, she wants to see her real aunt. Yeah. Because of course she has her aunt in Sweden too, yeah. my adoptive sister, but sure. now she wants to see you. <laughs> so we are coming back, flying back up to mm -hmm. Udon, oh, and, and meet my sister Pinit. Pinit? Mm. Pinit, Pinit. Okay. Okay. So. No, great story it really is, and like I say, all the, all the details will be down in the description. Mm -hmm. We're going to follow up on this, whether it be tomorrow if, when we're out with David, I don't know which direction we're going in, mm -hmm. but if we can we will. If not, we'll definitely pay the uh, orphanage a visit yeah. and try and get something going, a little bit of support if we can. Mm -hmm. and. I know what you guys are like, the way you've helped us out with projects before. Mm -hmm. It might be something that you'd like to get involved in as well. So take a look in the description. Everything will be down there. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank, thank you for meeting me. Thank, thank you, Michael. Thank you. It was nice. Uh, it's wonderful. It yes. really is. It's okay. Great. So thank pleased for you as well, meeting up with your sister yes. and everything else yes, that's I'm working happy. out. Mm -hmm. And come and live in Thailand soon. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.